All right, here we are, guys, hole eight. Now, what I'm thinking is probably Titan Extra Mile or similar. Um, towards the weekend, I'll probably go with a... Uh, Kingmaker, just for a little bit more side spin. Every every little bit is going to help on this. This is actually going to be a really, really challenging hole for pro, but also something that you'll want to get. So um, ideally, here you can see the wind. Um, you know, maybe towards the weekend, if you can, you know, put on a berserker ball and land it right here. You know, that might be optical, optimal for you to be able to land it right here um, with a berserker ball on, but it might require you to, you know, have a relatively good club, extra mile eight, extra mile seven, six at minimum, um, plus the berserker. But what I'm gonna try to do here, just for you guys, I'm going to uh, try a layup with hopefully just a little bit better positioning than my opponent there. Um, I may need to switch to the Kingmaker ball, like I'm mentioning, because I might really need this side spin to be able to pull this off. So I'm kind of looking, you know, down target. And another thing that I can try to do is I can just try to hop this bunker with a little bit more precision. But this is also going to be a very, very challenging shot. And this actually might work better with a Titan, getting a little bit of extra wind. So the little bit of extra wind will actually help. I'm thinking somewhere in the neighborhood of maybe four rings with max curl. And you can also see that I'm kind of keeping away from the edge. So um, I didn't put the, you know, the, the target right on the edge of the rough because I wanted to make sure that it hits the fairway and look, it just skipped over. So it wasn't by much. So you really got to be exacting on that shot to be able to get that to work out. Um, and, you know, you might only be able to pull it off 50% of the time. And, of course, anything that's not a perfect ball, it's, it's probably going to be, you know, death. So th this is going to be a very, very challenging hole. It's going to favor guys with, you know, longer clubs and the way that they put the wind. You know, it would have been nice for them to just kind of restrict going for the green on one of these um, tours and, you know, give them a headwind. But, um, you know, they're, they're essentially setting all these up for, you know, guys to basically get eagle, but you'll really have to get lucky to kind of hop the bunker, kind of similar to what you saw my opponent do. So here I'm going to play very, very little wind. It'll probably play about a, a ring. Um, the great ball may not catch. It looks like it just did catch the edge. So very, very little wind there. Um, you can see I was able to get that one. So, um, you know, hopefully you guys can use a similar technique and be able to get that one. So good luck with that hole, and I'll catch you guys on 9 coming up.